Today's video is sponsored by Sheet Music Plus, a great website with sheet music from any genre you could possibly want. Click the link down in the description below and enter in the word love at checkout and you get $15 off your order. How about that? In the meantime, stick around. We got a great video coming for you. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today is video three out of five, designed to guide new musicians through buying their first musical instrument. To see previous videos like this, click up here. This one's all about the singers. Buying your first microphone can be daunting with a wide array of options possible and possibly influencing your sound and how people perceive you and your talent. And remember, no matter how cool your comeback, don't drop your mic. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, Feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Before we go further, I just want to say that some of this information is courtesy of sonicbids.com. If you've never heard your voice amplified or recorded and played back to you, it might be a good place to start. Getting comfortable with how it sounds in these ways is important to picking a microphone because that's what everybody else is going to hear. Once that's done, it's time to make some choices. First, figure out if you need a condenser mic or a dynamic mic. The main thing to know about condenser microphones is that they're more sensitive to sound and more fragile overall. So you'd want one of these to record sources that aren't too loud and typically have a higher frequency. In my experience, they're great for acoustic guitar, vocals, live piano, and even cymbals. They're good at picking up details that a, a dynamic microphone may not pick up. Also, condenser mics typically require phantom power, and most audio interfaces come with uh, phantom power capability. Dynamic microphones, on the other hand, won't pick up as much detail as a condenser, but they're more durable and can handle louder instruments. They work well on instruments with low to mid frequencies, like drum kits, electric guitar amps, and they do great for live performances. Plus, dynamic mics are typically more affordable than condenser mics, which makes them perfect for a beginner. The next thing to consider is the pickup pattern of the microphone. The most common pickup pattern is the cardioid pattern. It records audio from the front of the mic in a bloated cartoon heart shape. For your first microphone, I'd suggest sticking with a cardioid pickup pattern. It's the easiest to understand and least likely to capture sounds you don't want. Last, it's best to get an XLR microphone. This is the most common type of connection a microphone has, although a lot of microphones connect directly to your computer via USB. The problem with USB microphones is that when you're recording with the mic, you can't record anything else. With an XLR mic, you plug it into your audio interface via an XLR cable, and the interface plugs into your computer. Then you can plug other instruments or microphones in and record with them simultaneously. With practice, using a microphone can be a great and natural extension of your voice. Make sure you practice with it using the gear you already have. There will be lots of mistakes at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you found it somewhat helpful. Uh, if you want to pick up a, a decent microphone, there's some uh, links down in the description. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. Click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. If you want to support the channel, I've got a Patreon page, uh, CDs for sale. They're down in the, the uh, description. And also, you can go to room6.shop and pick up some great merch like this. See? Room 6. Support local music. Um, yeah, remember to be amazing, practice, 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 and we'll see you next time on Room 6.